we paid a visit to the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission to talk about mm. this. Yes. Now, this is a benefit concert, right? Yeah, for acclaimed Christian artist, Jason Gray. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Well, and especially for this particular cause, I'm really glad that they're finding ways to get a little bit more income for them because they need it. Yeah, so we visited the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission. We met with the Director of Development, Chris Chris Aspinall. Mm -hmm. Chris, <laughs> Chris, Chris Aspinall <laughs> is what we call him now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and just, we, we wanted to know more about... Uh, what they do. Right. And they're, so they're a faith-based rescue mission. Mm -hmm. And because they're faith-based, they don't get federal funding. Right, exactly. You see where this is going? Mm -hmm. This is why we want you to buy tickets to this benefit concert, IdahoFallsArts.org. It's happening September 26th. That's a Thursday at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we learned a bunch of stuff about the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission. First of all, right, right. next door, uh, they're at 840 Park Avenue. Mm-hmm. Right next door at 830 is Providence Downtown with my pastor buddy, Todd Wood. Yes. And they do a lot more than I thought they did. Right. I guess if I had to think about it, you know, just a few individuals on a daily basis. Oh, no. They serve 260 people a day. It's a in lot. In some form or another. Mm -hmm. You know, they serve every night, 365 days a year. They serve 80 to 100 people for dinner. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's all done through volunteer work, too. And they house about that many Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one thing that I thought was really fascinating that he mentioned on our tour is the um, steps that they go through to prevent bed bugs. Because mm -hmm. especially in the transient community, it's pretty easy to pick those up and it's really hard to get rid of them. Stuff. Yeah. You, you know, whenever you dive into something, mm -hmm. it's always going to be more detailed and complicated than you think it is. Right. They have a bed bug oven. <clears throat> Yes, and they also have bed bug resistant mattresses too. Yeah, isn't that genius? It is. Yeah, we'll just do a quick uh, tour for you. Mm -hmm. Check out their kitchen and dining facilities here. Right. Their food pantry that you can contribute to as well. They have clothing. You'll see that they have household goods like toiletries and stuff like that. Right. They put together little kits, don't they? They do. For mm -hmm. members in the community that need them. So Well, and I know that there are other organizations that go to them for help too. Right. Like they mm -hmm. send their uh case workers uh -huh. to the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission for those hygiene kits. Right. Idaho Falls Rescue Mission has been around for twenty five years mm -hmm. and they need three things. They need money, food, and volunteers. Yep. So if you want to help and have a great evening with some great music, Jason Gray. September 26th, that's a Thursday, 7 p.m., tickets at IdahoFallsArts.org or link in post. Mm -hmm. And thanks a lot. Chris is just a warm, generous man. Right. And thanks so much for giving us some of your time and letting us check out your operation mm -hmm. because they, now one of my favorite charities has always been The Haven. Yes, I was and the, they are actually affiliated too. I was the son of a single mom for a minute, mm -hmm. and I remember... <clears throat> how tough that was mm -hmm. on my mom. And so... Well, especially back in the day. Right. You know, I, it's I, a little bit easier now because at least there's not nearly as much stigma, but... Right. And so anytime I have anything to donate, it's always to the Haven. Well, right. uh, just a couple of years ago, Idaho Falls Rescue Mission took over the Haven. Mm -hmm. I think it was with ECAP or ICAP, however you want to pronounce the Eastern Idaho Community Action Partnership. Right. But uh, now it's being run by the fine folks at the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission. So uh -huh. we wanted to put them in the spotlight this week so that um, you can help them help the community. Right. And if you yourself want to get your hands dirty and go on over there and volunteer, we're going to actually put the application to do that in the post as well.